Hey, crafty people. So I got a little bit, I consider creative this past weekend, and I wanted to share some test projects with you. <clears throat> and I had found on Pinterest um, some farmhousey style books. Let me show you. So I found those. Um, I was searching for farmhouse tabletop decor. And I really liked them. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try my hand at that. And I wanted to start with shabby chic. Uh, one that's a little bit shabby chic. And I still have, I have paint. This is from something else, not from these. But anyway, so I had these little books. Well, not all of them are little. And they're kind of stuck together. This one says like family. I don't know what book this is. Um, I picked up books at Goodwill to practice on. And I did um, paint them white, painted them all white first. And then I did some stenciling, as you can see, the stencil. And then I had some resin pieces that I had um, created. This is a Stamperia uh, resin piece from ASC Supplies, although this is not a design team project for her. Um, and then I just used this wood word, love. And I glued those on. And painted them and then I used a little bit of dark wax just to give it a little bit of pop um, I added the lace as an afterthought here's the back so this one's more of a shabby chic style something that somebody could put on their on their dresser um, you know just I don't know I think it's really pretty I like it. All right. So the next one is probably my least favorite of this bunch, but I think there will be people that like it. Um, so this is my next book. And I used um, a dusty blue on this one. I did some stenciling with the brick stencil. And then a word stencil. And I used these. I don't know if I used resin or if I used clay on these. Um, these are Prima letters that say love. I can't remember if these were clay or resin because you can't tell anymore. That's for sure. But I thought this one turned out pretty. I like the design of it. I'm just not super into blue. Um, but I think there will be people out there that like that. And this would be something that you could, you know, this one's a little bit bigger. And you could put, like, on your coffee table if you wanted to. Or, you know, to me it looks more like a bedroom type of item. But I, I simply took books like this that I got at Goodwill. Oh, what does this one say? Huh? This book's from California. Oh, <gasps> May 12th, 1949. Wow. What is this book about? Um, you can get the short stories of James T. Farrell. Wow. Wow. That's kind of cool. Huh? Well, anyway, um, funny that it made its way here from California um so I just bought these books you know when you have 50% off day you can get them for like a buck buck 50 this says Winston Churchill no man's land so anyway start out really simple like that now here is my next one and this one and the one after are potentially I don't know. I like them both really well. All right. Ta-da. Look at this one. So again, I started out painting it white. 
I used a wood word like this and I glued it on the front and then I painted it white and then I picked my resin pieces and painted them white and when it had dried completely I used a dark wax on it and um, and then after it set for several days I took a clear wax because it was a little dirty looking for me um, and I wanted to brighten it up, especially the word family. I wanted that to really pop. So I used the clear wax and I took off the dark, a lot of the dark wax that was on there. You can still see that there is some, but it pops out more. And I just love this one. I really, really do. So there's that one. And then the last one, <laughs> I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell me. So I created this one. I thought this would be great in a kitchen. And I used this rooster. Um, I have a mold of a rooster. And um, again, painted this book white. And I wanted it to look old. But then I decided to use a stencil. So I used this stencil. And I just really thought this would look nice standing up in a kitchen, um, maybe like here's a, I don't know what this is. Somebody gifted me this in a swap and I just thought that looks really, I don't know, I like it. I probably need to age and distress this piece as well, but anyway. So you guys are my guinea pigs to tell me what you think of these. Here's the back. And it's funny because this book got stuck to the cardboard and things. And I just thought that uh, that added some little texture and it didn't bother me. Or some paint blobs and it just lends to it looking old to me. So if you don't mind... Would you tell me which one of these is your favorite? And if you'll tell me why, it's really going to help me figure out creating more of these. Because I did buy more books because I had so much fun. And I do think these are items that would sell at our Vintage Stuff and Things booth. Um, but moving forward, I will tell you, I have, I'm have i working on some altered bottles with this sort of kind of the resin and everything. And um, those videos I'm going to be sharing on the Vintage Stuff and Things channel. So if you haven't gone and liked the channel, um, I will link it in the description box down below. And I hope you'll head over there and like that so you can see those bottles because they are going to be really pretty um and tell me what you think of these books because like i said i have more and do you think they would look nicer if there was like two like there was a bigger one underneath and they stacked and i could tie them together with twine um yeah all right let me know thanks for watching guys i'm counting on you <laughs> and if anybody's interested in any of these books let me know in an email that will be in the description box down below as well. I usually don't uh, put things like this in my eBay store. And Etsy is just a disaster right now. So I'm not going to um, be listing on Etsy. So, um, all right. Thanks for watching. Happy Scrappy Day. Bye.